Hi, it's Ike here, and uh, I almost forgot how to do these dashboard confessionals, but got something on my mind here. Today, I was talking with my daughter, who is in middle school, sixth grade, and she was telling me about how she was at school today, and some of the kids were not really making fun of her, but asking her very seriously why she wasn't wearing red. And that's when she noticed that just about the, all of the rest of her classmates were wearing red today. And she said, well, I didn't know. I, I wasn't told anything about it. Turns out that one of her classmates actually died over the weekend, and it was very tragic. And all of these students were wearing red in support of their fallen classmate, which is a pretty nice, spontaneous display of camaraderie and, 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 and a way for these students to process loss. What concerns me, though, is that the way the students spread this information was through social media. Uh, and in fact, several of these kids wanted to know why my daughter seems to be the only one in school who does not have a Facebook account, does not have an Instagram account, or does not have a Twitter account. Uh, there's a simple reason why she doesn't have any of these accounts. She's 11 years old. You have to be at least 13, according to the terms of service, to even register for any of those accounts. So, so I, I've got a couple of key questions here. Uh, first of all, am I wrong? Am I a bad dad for keeping my daughter off of social media sites? Secondly, are all of these other parents bad parents for putting their children on social media sites? Uh, I'm not sure what they were thinking. I'm not entirely sure that I'm angry at them. Uh, because I can understand. In the modern household, there's a lot of pressures. There's a lot of stresses around around just keeping in touch. I know parents who have set up uh, messaging apps on smartphones or, or iPod touches or Android player devices so that they can chat with their own children. And, and I understand that. I even set up email addresses for both of my kids. It's, it's set up in a secure way. They don't even have the passwords, but they can retrieve and, and respond to their email on their devices. And, and I know what's happening at all times. My daughter uh, even asked around, and, and as far as she knows, she's the only student that she's been able to talk with in her classes who has an email address. So there's clearly a need. Uh, there's clearly a need for parents uh, to be able to communicate with their children during the day without being disruptive. There's clearly a need to stay connected in certain ways. But I'm wondering, are we making a mistake by bringing the kids to the big boy table too soon? Are we making a mistake in assuming that they're going to know how to keep themselves safe and, and what dangers are out there? Or are we even sure that the parents are aware and are properly equipped to have those talks with their kids. Because the fact of the matter is, we're dealing with a generation that gets this stuff. I mean, we've got an entire school full of kids who over the weekend organized the wearing of red to remember a fallen student. So clearly they understand how social media works. Is it time that we ask for the right kinds of tools? Is it time for us to ask for the right kind of guidance or... Or is this just the brave new world that we're in? I don't know that we have an answer. So help me figure this out.